Hi everyone, this is a video I wanted to make almost immediately after making the first Poland Ball video. Uh, however, I didn't want to become the Poland Ball channel, which is why I instead became the Creator Cameron channel for no good reason. But whatever, that time has passed, and today, we will be taking out our drawing pencils. Oh, by the way, if you want to learn about where Poland Ball comes from, here's the video for that, please watch it. Anyways, Poland Ball might seem like a very easy thing to get into. I mean, it's only MS Paint Doodles, right? Well, yeah, but like you're missing something. It's MS Paint Doodles for elitists. Okay, I kid, but really, there are some seldomly spoken rules when it comes to writing Poland Ball comics. There are a lot of ways you can screw it up. I mean, look at this. Thus, listen closely, in this episode, I will provide you with all the information you will need in order to be taken seriously in this super duper serious community. The best resource for learning how to draw a Poland Ball, well, is, well, obviously the Poland Ball subreddit. In fact, I suggest that if you're interested in making comics that you lurk on the subreddit for a while. You will learn a lot just through that alone. But if you purely just want to draw some balls... Your first place to look should be this page. Though all of this is easily accessible in the Poland Ball subreddit, I'll read to you all these uh, intrinsic rules. Rule number one, no circle tool. This one is very easy to avoid. Just look at the circle tool and set it on fire. The circle tool kills some of the charm that a squiggly Poland Ball is supposed to have. Even if it takes you 40 times to draw a somewhat decent circle, please do it. Don't take the easy way out. We can always tell. Rule two, draw the flag. Yeah. Draw it. Don't copy paste the flag from the first page of Google just to make the process easier on yourself. Look how gross this is. Now compare it with this. Yeah, you'll lose half an hour of time, but this time helps the balls look more alive and, of course, charming. Try to get the correct color scheme off the official flag itself like on Wikipedia and make sure you draw the flag as accurately as you can possibly be expected to. No one's gonna murder you for not drawing all 50 stars, but people might murder you for not drawing stars at all. Oh, and of course, there are many helpful guides out there if you're having trouble with a very specifically difficult country flag, so don't be afraid to ask them for reference. As long as you're not tracing or copying an image directly into your comic, you'll probably be good. Also, dear god, don't draw lines between the country colors, oh my god! Rule free. Now draw the face. Often, artists will struggle with faces. However, with Poland Ball, it's made exceptionally easy. You only have to draw two eyes and not even with pupils. Just remember this, you can't add to this. The worst tragedy you can commit towards a little Poland Ball is to add a mouth, pupils, chin, facial hair, regular hair, ears, a nose, teeth, and feet. Look at that thing, do you think it wants to live? The proper way to add good expression to these characters is a fine art. One uh, that I'm probably not good at. However, I can give you some general tips. Number one, focus on the size and position of the eyes. It's generally a good idea to make sure the eyes on your pull and bowl are facing towards the correct direction and not towards the disgusting filth above your computer. Also, the size of the eyes can show a strong amount of emotion even with small variations. For instance, very small eyes can show a sense of anxiety or even evil. Also, number two, manipulate the shape of your pull and bowl. You may have a different belief, however, I see these little balls as highly malleable and squishy. So focus on that. To show the balls in motion, you can draw it stretched or squashed to convey the bouncing motion. It's these little things that can make your drawing pop right out of the screen. With these two tips, you can make some very expressive country balls even with a severe lack of facial features. Please don't add more facial features. Now you know how to effectively draw your standard Poland Ball. Congrats! However, with Poland Ball having such a long history online, there are quite a few exceptions to the standard Poland Ball, some of which you've likely picked up on, though some people may have no clue and will insist that you're wrong for following the f***ing rules. However, I've decided to list most of the exceptions in a neat and compiled list. And so... Singapore's a triangle and this wheel's a cube and Poland is upside down. Slovenia has a patch and Serbia has a patch and many of us have a patch. But US has a pair of sunglasses, the UK has a monocle and a top hat and a ball in Ohio or large monsters, Kazakhstan is a brick or carpet, you pick I guess. And there's also many other small exceptions and accessories that a country ball can have. However, I didn't go through them because I just wanted to show you the most common ones that exist. Also note that sometimes the country may have an accessory, but it's not required. I still suggest you draw the accessory because it adds life to the balls. However, do what you want there. Oh, and also note that the city of Omsk is a demon bird for some reason, and I may have talked about it here. But you, dear viewer, how closely should you follow the Poland Ball traditions and rules? Well, it actually has quite a simple answer. If you plan on submitting comics to the subreddit, follow all the rules. If not, follow them as you please. 
Yeah, I know it's a crappy cop out. I mean, what's the point of making a whatever it is long video about something you could ignore? Well, I'm not saying you should just ignore the rules. Poland Ball is probably the largest open source public domain comic of all time. It shouldn't be necessarily bound to the rules developed over time, so it's fine to develop and innovate upon the comic. Wanna turn Poland Ball right side up? Why not? Wanna make the United States burn its eyes off? Uh, sure, I guess. Also, keep in mind that some of these rules can be broken just for humor or stylistic choices. For instance, the US and UK aren't strict required to have their accessories. However, if you plan on breaking some of these rules, you should definitely have some good reasons before uploading them to the subreddit. But despite all that, if you draw something that looks like this and call it Pollen Ball, I will bully you. And that's about it. I hope you learned something today about Pollen Ball. Now get the drawing! Oh, and all the important resources I mentioned in the video are in the description in case you want to start drawing Pollen Ball comics on the Pollen Ball subreddit. I know I just kind of call them strict of the rules, but at the end of the day, there's a great community of amateur comic artists there, and it might serve you well to join if you're into that kind of thing. Anyways, I best be going. I think I left the stove on.